an emotional reunion after more than a week apart. So I like squeeze them. Parents Starlin and Bill Cafferata back with their four babies after the Texas storm left them separated for eight days. When the couple set out to grow their family, they weren't expecting quadruplets. There's a lot of babies. A lot of babies. The couple previously struggled with infertility. They had their daughter Zoe two years ago using IVF and were hoping for one more. They ended up getting pregnant with four. Transferred one embryo, four babies. That's your one in a million. When Starlin was put on bed rest, the couple turned to social media. It's been a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Sharing their pregnancy journey on TikTok and Instagram, from bulk diaper buying to their many hospital visits. She's a rock star, guys. She's absolutely crushing it. Their story resonated. Their videos got millions of views. We have some babies tonight. And on January 18th, Enzo, Lennon, Stella, and Francesca came into the world. The parents excited to share their news. We had four healthy babies. Three of them were three pounds, nine ounces. One of them was a three pounds, five ounces. The quadruplets, born at 31 weeks, stayed in the NICU at the hospital where Starlin works as a nurse. The pandemic already meant only one parent could visit the quads at a time. And when last week's storm slammed into Texas, things got even more complicated. The icy roads were too treacherous to make the 40-mile drive. When the family lost power, they went to a friend's house so that the milk Starlin pumped could stay frozen. Finally, after more than a week apart. You excited to go see your babies? More than excited. The parents were back with their babies. Soon, getting even more good news. Lennon and Francesca were released from the NICU, and doctors are hopeful Enzo and Stella will be home next week. The family overjoyed to be back together. Oh, let's say good morning and congratulations to the happy parents of five, Starlin and Bill Capirata. And we've got Francesca and Lennon hoping that Enzo and Stella will get out of the NICU soon. But good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, gosh, after everything you've been through to then have that, your babies are finally here and you have to be separated from them for eight days. That just must have broken your heart. I can't imagine it. Yeah, the weirdest part was we're from the northeast, so the snow wasn't scary. But we were, I went there on Thursday morning and saw the weather and was like, okay, I'll be able to come back on Saturday or Sunday. Um, it looked like it was going to clear up, but it never stopped. It never stopped. It was just yeah. ice, then snow, ice, snow, and the roads were terrible. Can- can you take us back just for one second? Because I know y'all wanted a big family. I mean, this is, you got a, you got a super big family. When you were looking at the yeah. ultrasound and they were like, up, oh, it looks like you have twins there. Just tell me what was happening as the doctor kept pointing at other things on the ultrasound and letting you know there were actually four babies there. Well, as soon as she like put the ultrasound in, I said, okay, that looks like twins. And then she's like, well, in this sack, there's two. So I was like, Okay, that's triplets then. And she's like, so this is another one. And then I, he luckily got to go with me. And so he was there and I started hyperventilating and I was like, I need a break. And then she said, well, we actually need to go back in because I'm pretty sure I saw another one. And then I uh, really uh, started hyperventilating. Yeah, there's, I w- if I wasn't physically there, I would have for sure thought I was being pranked. There's, there's no way that I would have believed that. <laughs> I mean, and, and here's the thing. You, you, had, you had Zoe. So now you've got five kids. Your, your two-year-old Zoe. How's she doing with all this? She couldn't be happier. She is, I mean, everyone she sees, she's like, I'm a big sister now. I'm a big sister. And, and I'm like, I'm like, all right, give me that. It's a, it's a little shirt. It's a big shirt because I'm a big sister. Aww. Guys, so you were splitting time in the NICU for visitation. And then, yes. then the storm comes. And then you lose power. Like, what? how did you handle that, especially with the nursing? Well, I was not, like, emotionally well. No. And I was driving him crazy. But... I like luckily had battery packs that I had bought for my pump so that I could pump in the car or whatever I needed to do. So I was still pumping every two and a half hours and then we lost power and we were like, yeah. what are we going to do? We put them in a Yeti cooler. Yeah. We were using the garage or the fridge <laughs> and, and then uh, some friends of ours called us up and uh, shout out to Melinda and Jason for helping out <laughs> and giving us a place to stay and get that milk frozen. Oh, well, yeah, making good. it work. Almost yeah. milk in the Yeti. Love seeing little <laughs> Francesca and yeah. Lennon and Enzo and Stella will be home soon. Caparata yeah. family yes. party at seven. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. you so much. We're Thanks, glad to guys. have you with Thank us. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> 
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.